Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. In this episode we're going to deal with the pollution that's been caused by the generator and there's a lot of pollution gets caused from the generator uh, like tons. But first of all, actually I have to say I did make a, mis a few mistakes yesterday, definitely a few mistakes. One of them was um, I kept ho calling hot graphite granite and don't ask me why it just got stuck anyway i do apologize in case that distracted you and i also made some mistakes with the item routers so let's go and have a look at those first of all so they're down here of course as you can as you remember and you do have to put on here what actually needs to go in and um actually i made a mistake what i did is i put the wrong one in there i put apples so apples in the um in the industrial squeezer do something completely different let's have a look at what we do with the industrial squeezer so i've got it actually up here because i was using apples and i think that rustic doesn't show apples but it does show the other ones so for example it shows grapes so let's have a look at the uses of grapes and you can put those into the industrial squeezer and it will make fruit juice so or grape juice in this case uh in fact if i look at the uses of this one you'll see that if i go through this it's got only six pages so it's not too bad Obviously, we can use melon seeds on the industrial hemp seeds, as we've already been doing. We've, we found out about leather last time, but olives, of course. We can make olives without having to stand on it. Brilliant. And ironwood, and these, and uh, and honey. We can do all these without having to tread on them. And I guess they're all going to produce 250 milli buckets. And apples produce apple juice, like a load of apple juice. So I had to get rid of it. So, actually, it's actually not too difficult to get rid of fluid. Let me just turn this machine off. First of all, like that. So it's not using up any more. I can put it back in again, what I'm going to do anyway, so it's not such a big deal. So at the moment, it's got into it quite a few seeds. It's actually not completely full. I'm probably not sure why, because there's enough seeds trundling around as it, as, as it goes past anyway. So you got, it's full of plant juice. Nearly, nearly um, 24 buckets of plant juice. So what you can do is you can put down on here, for example, a... Um, barrel from immersive engineering and that connects in nicely. Don't ask me why an LV capacitor is related to it, but it seems to be. So we can then come to the top of this barrel and we can shift it. Uh, I probably have to go from the other side now, don't I? So if I stand here, if I can get up, yes I can. So if I press shift with the hammer, it tells me the out other side is output. One right click, there's no connection and one input, it should be input. So if we now get a bucket, I've got some buckets in my hand here, it'll tell us what we've got in here. Like this so it's it's actually empty at the moment because this isn't running so i turn it back on again for a few seconds anyway <laughs> going the wrong way around aren't i so let's turn it back on again this will now be filled up and as you can see plant oil is going in there fairly quickly now to get this plant oil out once you put it in the best way i've found is to use the forestry cap fuels and they're great these things as i said before they stack up to 64 to hold you right click down it's almost empty as you see i've got four buckets of plant oil here uh and i can put that plant, plant oil back into anywhere it, and it uses up the capsules when i put it in which is actually also pretty useful so let's do it the other way around let's turn this to an output you should right click it again now it's output so this end should be empty because the fluid should disappear out of here into this pipe at least i hope it does so let's turn it back on Right, so it is on at the moment, uh, but it's still it's, it's still got oil in it. Maybe we have to turn it off, and then the oil should may drain out. If it doesn't, well, you have to then ask me what I'm going to do. I'll tell you what I'll do: put it fill it completely up, and then we'll do it the other way around. But that's actually not part of today's exercise. So let's just do it like that. Turn this on and let it fill up, and it'll fill up to um, 24 buckets. And when it's a complete number of buckets, we can deal with that, no problems whatsoever. What's going on here? <laughs> uh, it's still stuck at 3.3 .3 buckets. I, I don't know. It's on, so it should be working. So And it should be pump, pumping stuff out. But for some reason, it's not going into that tank. But don't ask me why. Hmm. Anyway, I'll come to that as another stage. I'll put this away at the time being like this. Now, pollution. I'm going to show you the pollution this has created. 
it's uh, surprising and it's night time so we have to have a quick sleep so I'll come back in a few seconds when I've had a quick sleep right now let's go outside as you can see this place is overgrown with, with vegetation and it's been caused by this pollution here uh, and the pollution is slowly disappearing and you, you can break this vegetation like this no problem whatsoever keep breaking it as soon as you break it wait a few seconds there's more it'll all grow back up again eventually you get a few seeds and things sort of plants lots of plant flowers as it happens which are quite rare I mean so that as you can see it just disappears like that and you break it and you get the seeds and da da and there's still plenty of um, pollution over my head there I think so it'll come back again and as you can see it's got all sorts of bits and pieces let's go my inventory is full I have to go and empty it out again now I wanted to do this so it was further away from the base but unfortunately I couldn't and the reason I couldn't do it as you see is there's a limit and I hadn't realized what the limits were had I realized what the limits were I'd have done things differently what I'd have done is I'd have moved the um, that big the machine room underneath the farm and I might have to do that anyway because this is going to be a bit of a nuisance to be honest with you let's see I'm pick up these this stuff which I still haven't picked up put it away so let's have a look at why next thing I'll just clear this away and I'll come back in a few seconds well I'm actually fighting a losing battle trying to keep these away because as soon as you do it it breaks eases up with the pollution and it makes the the grass grow but it's just fine don't really mind so let's do that something over here so what I want to do is demonstrate um, there's, there's a couple of problems with pollution it also knocks wires off so I have a, a lantern here and for some reason or other it maybe a pollution block came along and here hit this I can't see things like grass or other plants getting in the way of this when when it was connected from here to here and it knocked it off so which is sort of not very helpful really um, plants also growing up will knock the wires off from immersive engineering too but I think we're out of range for those so let's have a look at this now I'm going to set up a very small demonstration so we're going to use um what I'm going to set up is a, a small smeltery and the reason I'm going to use a smeltery is because with a smeltery you can see exactly what's um smoke and where it's going to so what else do I need one of those huh so I'll just put that I'm going to do it above ground as well so normally I'd sink this into, into the ground but oh yeah so I'm going to put a second one on here then we can put the faces on this like this let's get around the outside of this I didn't use a very good block in the middle did I so I have to get this one rid of this one uh, and put something else in its place so I can then do it uh, what have I got here that I can use oh yes I can use a chimney can't I let's put a chimney on the ground here in fact let's not do that let's put the pump on the ground here because you've got to put pumps on the ground beside the sources in fact the source in this case is not this one so let's put it down so here we are, and here's, this is the smeltery controller, and this is where the and this is where the pollution comes out of, as you can see. So what you do now, there are rules with this, these chimneys, and there's actually quite a lot of rules. So I think I've got enough room to demonstrate it over here. You can't put down, for example, a chimney down here. It doesn't work. You can't put a vent down there. Let's get a vent out of here, because that doesn't work either. It still comes out of the top there. Well, let's put some more vents down in a row here because that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm not sure I'm going to put down to be honest with you. Let's put down a few. And then we put on it at the end of this, you can have a chimney. You can't, you can't put the chimney on top of here like this, it doesn't work. So now what we have to do underneath this, we have to put a pump. So let's put a pump down here. The mod's changed a bit since I first did the pollution stuff. It's not changed that much. Now, that should now start to be pumping it out. But it's not. It's still coming out of here. So what we have to do is we have to have a chimney on the end of this, and not a, a chimney, not a vent. So let's break this one out and put a chimney in its place instead. Like that. There you go. Oh, yes, now it's working. You see, now we're getting smoke out of here. Now, there is a limit of these 
In fact, you can do multiples. You can do it like this as well. So we can have some more vents going down here. And another chimney. And sure enough, it's coming out of both chimneys, which is a good thing, because you need to do that. You can actually also have two source blocks going into a pump. I'll come to that in a minute, because that's how I figured out what I wanted to do with the diesel engine. Now, how many blocks have we got here? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Let's go and add up let's go and add another five to this. So let's do it like this. And I'm sure how many I've put down because it'll change the numbers. So then we end up with actually four will end up with sixteen. Five. So I want the last one here. Let's take the last one off here. And remove this chimney from here. So now we expect the stuff to come out of the side that don't we just want one more in here like that. Put the chimney down and we hope that the stuff will come out. Wait a few seconds. No smoke. And I'm going, ah, that's a problem. What's the so that means there's a range, and there is indeed a range. And the range is actually 15. So if I'm not mistaken, this is this is 16th, so let's remove that one, put a chimney down there. No smoke. So this is the fifteenth one here, so we should be able to be able to put a chimney down here, and it smoke should come out of here again. So there you go. So that's the limit. You've got 15 uh, vents is the maximum you can have. It would actually be nice if we could put down another pump here, for example, and let it go another 15 blocks. That would help me a lot, because what I wanted to do is I wanted this pollution to of coming out here by the door, which is in fact the 16th block the far away. I wanted it to come out over here, and I couldn't do. So I set it all up. Well, the pipes everywhere, and they're going, oh, no. So what I'm probably going to do is probably move the whole of that uh, machine room underneath the fa uh, underneath the farm, but that's going to take us a lot of work to set up in the first place. It's going to be a lot of work to move it. <laughs> Pain in the bum. Anyway, so that's, that's that part. So let's go and have a look now downstairs in the factory. I'm going to break these up, and I'll come back in a few seconds when I've done this. Well, actually, before I actually do that, Let's have a look at this. There's one more thing you can't do with these with these chimneys. We can put a chimney down there, no problem like that. The smoke will come out. We've got a second chimney on top of it. Still no problem, you can have quite a few chimneys. I don't know how many, ask me how many. But as soon as you try to put a vent, so I wanted to run, firstly I wanted to run it this way, and put a chimney on there, it doesn't come out of here. It still comes out of this place here. So you can't have chimneys going back. The only way you can do it is, is from underneath. You can do a pump, so you can do this, but this doesn't apply in this case because we're to remove the pollution in a in a tunnel as I did before. What you can also do is you can have a pump, some vents, and you can have a pump, and on top of the pump you can have a chimney. Um, so I can do it from here, like that, and you can put the pump on, and that should pull. The fumes coming out of here. In fact, you can't still can't connect these up. They don't doesn't connect. So you can try it whichever way you want. As far as I know, it still comes out the top. though it's not coming out of where you'd hope it to come out of. But if I put a pollution block here, it would get sucked in and go out of that chimney. So there we are. Right. I'll see you in a few seconds. And another problem I was getting here was they're getting the, the the cables knocked off. As you remember from over here, they were getting knocked off. But also the pollution in this room was going up above, and it was coming into this room. And I had some cables running, uh, some cables running along here to go to outside. Well, what I've done is I've actually used the um, the cables from Magnetic Craft because they're actually proper cables, and I've taken them from here. Actually, you can't even see it from in here because it's well hidden now. It's much nicer actually. As it happens, I like that a lot better. But I did is I took the cable out of here. It goes all the way up there, and then it goes across over this way, um, out. Doesn't look like it is doing, but it is. I promise you, because you can't. Yes, there you can see it there. And then it's going out above the door, like that. So I go down against so this, and then what well, actually that happens is it comes out here, and I've connected it into this. Um, Oh, double grass, <laughs> get rid of that, <laughs> into the Sylvie capacitor here, and then it's going out. So now we're going to turn the, the gen diesel generator on. What I've done, is that I'm, this is one of the cobblestones here, so I need that temporary, so I can actually see. 
I want to sort of the next part of the demonstration. It's this. Here I have got a some vents and they're going this way. So let's just knock out this vent here. I can do that, no problem at all. And there's the pump. And the pump's turned on. Underneath this block here, there's a another block with a, a lever on it. So it's just so it's turned on. I could use a redstone block, of course. So like that. So this block here, if I put down here another pump, what I want to do is to put down another pump here like this. And this one's on because of this block underneath it. So we turn it on like that. So what I then decided I was going to do, this is where the, um, I'm going to put it back again now. The smeltery control is going to be here. So let's put these down like this. So I can put the, the bottom block down here like that. Should be, should be all right. And then I can put the smeltery controller on top of this. I have to go around and do this a bit, oh, a bit complicated. So one of the reasons I'm doing this is because you don't get any smoke out of this. So you don't know if the chimney's working. So let's put that down like that. And then we can just put the rest of these blocks into place. I need to put one here. So I can put the, the other blocks on. So what have we got here? Drain. It doesn't matter, I just have got these blocks. Probably don't even need a drain to be honest with you. But to be a complete uh, smeltery, this is what we need. And as you can see, there's no smoke. The reason there's no smoke is because it's going out of these out of these vents. So we've got the diesel engine and the, the um, smeltery <coughs> and the smeltery connected to this to that same set of vents. And as you can see, smoke is coming out of this chimney, as you expect. And of course, that was a maximum. So we can actually now turn this on. And I've actually got some capacitor banks here, which are full. To fill these up, it took a lot of power. Let's go and have a look in here. Oh, I made another mistake in this as well. The dust from the metals has to go in here. I don't know why I put it in the other side. So we're going to make some steel. And I had some copper and some tin and it produced some bronze and it produced some uh, constantan or cooper nickel whichever you like to call it and gold I've got some gold in here I what I did is I did the uh, I think I did the last time didn't I some armor let's turn this on and stand back a bit it looks all right doesn't it let's go and have a look outside while that's running stand back here and you can see how many blocks of pollution are going up there it produces tons of pollution now that'd be great if I could get that onto the farm because uh, then the farm would be working like crazy but it's also producing pollution in here I'm not seeing any yet but yesterday I did it ah oh, there's one block over here already. it got over here already don't ask me how it's got over to here but it did It produces tons of pollution, this thing. And maybe that's actually come from something else. I don't think it has. And that, that pollution block will disappear. It will go up up through the ceiling into the um, next one. Oh, it's actually turned off. Great. So this one's now fully charged in here. So you've got four wheelie in RFN that one. And out of here we should have another steel ingot because I saw one being made in here. Like that. Let's go make some more steel. It's actually not that quick as I was... I'm surprised I would have expected to be quicker than that. Anyway, what happened is I was getting mining fatigue because the amount of pollution in this area had exceeded its limits. So there we are. Bah. I wanted some iron. I've got some iron in one of these chests. I'm sure of it. Have I got it on me? No, I'm sure it's in one of these chests. It's the only one I put it in. Unless I put it downstairs. Oh, I put it downstairs, didn't I? Let's go make some more steel so we can actually demonstrate that better 39 steel is is needed in all sorts of things so if I make too much of this I don't really care so let's get some steel more steel made get that engine running again and watch it and we should get some more pollution coming out inside them inside here so what I'm going to do 
is to simply run another there you go there's one block just come out there like that so I'm going to turn it off now what we're going to do is run a second vent system from underneath here outside so I'll see you in a few minutes when I've done that right I've run them all the way from that same chimney back there and it's coming back over here and there's the pump here with a lever on it so as in as well actually it should be here as well I think I might have positioned that slightly wrong but it doesn't matter very much so I'll just finish, finish this off with some more vents. You'll see a vent down here. In fact, those are all vents. So I set up all those vents just to, just to discover it didn't work. So now, let's go and turn this on again. Uh, and go outside, because we can't see much from inside, except for pollution coming in. And let's hope this time we'll see some more pollution. Break the glass, of course. Grass, I mean. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll see the odd block of pollution coming out of this chimney. But as you can see, there's plenty coming out of this chimney. My goodness. And of course it grows, the grass grows. So I really want this underneath the farm for things to grow very fast indeed. Smoke's coming out of here, which is good. So that does mean it is working. So with a bit of luck, we will see another block come out of here. But my goodness, it certainly does produce pollution, this stuff. But it's, but it's actually not producing very much in the way of sulphur. I haven't got to filter on this yet. I probably should go and put one on. Let's go and get it while it's, while it's doing the business. Because this one's not working. Because <laughs> it doesn't reach that way. You see, I've got it all the way down there. It was a big job, that one, to be honest with you. Now I've got no space to pick it up with. Let's go and get rid of these seeds. Flowers and more seeds. Actually, those seeds are all seeds for, for food. But um, for the time being, I'm not doing food. In fact, I've discovered something about food too. I shall also talk about food. Is actually one of the one of the things in this mod pack. Where's that filter gone to? Is there? Put it down quickly. Oh yes, there. I just saw a block go out of there, and a couple of blocks just going out of there, as you can see. So that definitely is working. It is not producing very much um, sulphur. From this particular thing let's go and turn it off and have a look at how much sulfur actually sulfur deposits have actually been produced in it what i'm talking about is food yeah well let's just first before i do that let's just have a look at this let's break this off because it's not going to produce any more pollution now and have a look at how many sulfur deposits it's only got it's got it's got 10 in comparison to the number of stuff that's gone up there it's not actually that many a lot of the other machines will produce a lot more sulphur deposits for that. But it's probably because of the biodiesel. Right, food. Now, one of the things about food, if you have a look at the recipes here, there's some loads of recipes from Pamp's Harvest Craft. And some of them are really good. <clears throat> so have a look. I think I've got one or two in my backpack. I, I think I've got my backpack on. Um, not in that backpack so it's got on the other backpack which i think i put on the armor stand let's just from back again i've got it on the armor stand i've got some somewhere about if i find the doorway yes here it is that's the one that i want this one i was debating whether which is better of, of these two armor stands i think probably the bibliograph one's actually slightly better because if you click this you can see the armor you've got and you can move it off Whereas this one, you've got to take it off and to put it into hot bar slots, which is, oddly enough, a bit of a pain. Let's have a look at this one. Yes, I've got this one here. And it has got four and a half, um, is it four and a half? Four and a half health points, and it gives me 3.2 grain, protein, and vegetables. But if I actually look at wheat, uh, let's get rid of rustic, let's have a look at wheat. can spell it right which I can't this one here you see this is actually only giving half a health point but 0.5 so if I multiply four and a half by 0.5 it's going to give me four and a half grain so I think that's probably the better way to actually start eating so you eat the, the basic ones and the reason you use the basic ones is then you can improve these stats um, I died once so I lost all my stats again so I was a bit of a pain as well so I lost grain down to 30% so if I'm using when I get hungry I get hungry fairly fast just run <laughs> running is a good way to get use up food and then you can start eating a bit 
Um, so it should. Well, so that's what I'm doing at the moment. See if I can do it. Don't have to go through all this complicated cooking processes to make stuff. So, wow. As you can see, that was all cleared, and this place is just dark. And if I run it too long, that that room starts to get polluted. So there we are. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it and learned a little bit about uh, chimneys, advanced chimneys. Um, what I'd like to do next time is to look at the, find a way to get those storage drawers to basically output the, their items when there are no other items in or on the conveyor belts. But I'm not sure how to do that. If anybody's got a clue or an idea, let me know. I'd, be love, to, I'd love to hear from you and uh, see if I can implement it that way. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.